Welcome to Karate America, Appleton East Star Boys Virtual Dojo, Dojo for Black Belt Team and Masters Team. Today, after our brief warm up, we will quickly review some combinations and then we're going to have it be a what we term a classical karate day. So that means we're going to be working on our stances for the front stance and our back stance and then review some of the explosives again. We did those on another one. We're going to try to get to explosive number three today as well. All right, so we've got a lot to do, so come to attention and salute. Good. First thing is 10 no impact jumping jacks on each side. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big arm circles. Big arm circles back. Good. Guards up. Trunk twist. Add your punch today. Reach. Work that back when we reach out with that punch. And stop, put one foot over the other, reach for the floor. Bend those knees a little bit. Switch your feet around. Put them side by side, reach for the floor. Slowly come up, roll the shoulders into place. Good, open up your stance, rock side to side. Hands down the middle. Reach through. Hands on the floor, walk your feet in. And come up to attention. Defense stance, go. Yeah. I wanna see, back fist punch. Switch your feet, back fist punch. Ready, go. Switch, like that. Ready, switch back, and go. Back, good, ready, go. Now we're going to do that with our fluid motion version. So it's gonna be back fist punch, back fist punch. We're gonna do a total of six or three sets. Ready and go. Good, nice work. Let's do that again, ready, go. Very good. And switch your feet. Yeah. We do the same and add our front round kick with it. So it's gonna be back fist punch, front round kick, immediately this way, back fist punch, front round kick. When we're working with the front round kick, remember we're trying to just shift our weight rather than take those little stutter steps that happen. Ready, and go. Good job. Let's do that again. One more set of three, uh, three sets. Ready and go. Nice. And switch your feet. Yeah. Now I want to see offensive side kick and punch. Ready and go. Yeah, good. Ready, go. Yeah, ready, go. Nice. Reset and go. Good job. Switch your feet. Yeah, same thing. Ready, go. Yeah, 
Ready? Go. Aya. Nice. Ready? Go. Good. And go. Nice work. Good. And switch your feet back. All right. Back leg front kick. Land it in front. Back leg round kick. Punch. Ready? And go. Aya. Ready? Go. Aya. Ready? Go. Good. One more on this side. Go. Switch your feet. Same thing. Ready? Go. Aya. Go. Aya. Go. One more. Go. Nice. And come to attention. Good. All right. So today, again, we're going to work on our footwork or our positioning for front stance, back stance, and then our explosives. Front stance, that is the stance that we do at the end of journey. We use it in conquest. So we want to make sure we really work on that one. So we start out in chumbi, hands in front. We're just going to worry about the stance itself first. So bring your left foot in, slide it out and back over a little bit. I am not very big. It's just about here. My back knee has a small bend. My front knee has the main bend. Remember, we look down, can't see our toes. All right, now that we've reviewed how the legs work for this one, we're gonna make it a complete classical practice. So we're gonna add our hands with this, which is part of what we do in our explosives. So to chumbi, slide that leg, in, that left leg in as the left leg comes in, left hand comes up. This should look familiar for explosive one. Step out and punch. Good. So we're gonna do that again, slide in, step out, front stance, bring it down, low block, punch. Okay, now double check, make sure you're in good positioning. Your hand should be straight. You shouldn't be able to see your toes. Good, we're gonna do it again. Return to home, left hand up, slide out, drop, punch. Good, one more time, bring it up, slide it out, and punch. Nice work. All right, let's do that again. We're gonna keep the hands involved this time, but then we're going to do it faster with just the footwork again. All right, so chumbi, ready, bring the left in, left up. Bring it down, punch. Good. Bring it in, down, punch. Your feet should both be facing forward. All right, bring it in, down to that low block, punch. And one more, bring it in and down, punch. Very nice. Now a note, quick note to my black belts out there. When we practice our advancing front stances, you should be working on staying level. Remember, we do not want to look like a carousel horse. So if I was doing this for black belt, for my black belts, for master's team, it would look more like this. Once I get into my position, now I'm not going to change my height. Okay, so that's what we want to work on, remember, as a master's team. Now we're going to work on going a little faster stepping into our front stance. To do that, we're not going to worry about our hands. We're just going to put them on our hips. And we're going to start with our left coming in, slide it out, lock it into place. By lock, I mean into the floor, not at the joints. Remember, knees are soft. Bring it in with the right, slide it back out, same thing. Good. Bring it in and out. One more time, in and out. Good. Back yourself up. Let's do that again. Ready? Left leg starts. Go. Bring it in and out. Right leg in and out. Left leg in and out. One more time with the right, in and out. Very nice. Now, I don't know if you can hear, but whenever I move, you, there is a sliding sound because my feet are not picking up and setting down. I always wanna be sure of my footing. 
So if there's a divot, or, divot in the floor, or if we're outside into the grass, by sliding, I'll be aware of that and can adjust accordingly. If I step and there's a hole or a divot, I could twist my ankle. So we keep our feet connected to the ground. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. Again, we're gonna go a little bit faster. Hands on our hips, starting with our left, and go. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Good, nice work. That is our front stance. Now we're going to do the back stance. Now when we do a back stance, we want to make sure we are in a straight line. Normally, we talk about defense stance, we are not in a straight line. Front stance, we're definitely not in a straight line. Back stance, we end up in a straight line. So I'm going to do it facing this way with my front foot on a line. And right now I'm just worrying about my feet, so my hands are on my hips. I'm gonna bring my right foot up behind my left knee, and then I drop back with that right foot on that same line that my front foot is on. Both of my knees are bent. Most of my weight is on my back foot, not on my front foot. Okay, so I'm gonna start that again. Hands on my hips. Go ahead and try it with me this time. Right foot comes up behind the left knee. That's to protect it for the brief seconds it's completely exposed. And then drop back into your back stance. Back knee is bent. Front knee is soft or bent. Good. Now if I wanna to go to the other side, I'm going to turn my foot back front as my foot comes up on this side, and then I drop it back on that same line. That's probably the trickiest part of a front of a back stance is getting that transition down. So let's just work on that part. So go ahead and already put your left forward. Have your right foot back behind you. Good. Now we're going to take that left foot, and as we bring our left foot behind our right knee, we're going to change so that the weight comes up onto the ball of our foot so our foot can turn easier, and then we drop back. Okay, again, my knee is not, is not locked. It's, straight, it's soft again. Okay. So let's do that one more time, slowly. My foot is in front. Okay. All right, so now to switch it, here comes the twist of that foot up and back down. If you looked at your feet or you look at my feet, we're in a straight line. My front foot is always facing towards front, whatever my front center is. Now with that, there are hands, okay? It's called a knife hand block. For the knife hand block, we're basically, when we drop back, our left pinky is on our right hand, our right hand our right shoulder, our right hand is pointing, and then it pulls back like this. All right, so if I'm going to drop back into my, deep, my back stance on this side, my foot's already in position, okay. I'm now going to take that left pinky onto my right shoulder, pointing towards the front, my front of where I'm standing, and then up comes this, slides back as I drop back, I come into my knife hand and my block here, okay? The knife hand should not be way up here. It's also not way down here. It should be about even or just below your pupils. So there's my pupils, that's where my hand goes. Okay, let's try that again. So again, we're here. We're getting ready to drop into it. So I take my left, put my left pinky, point with my right, my right comes up. Drop back, slide into my block, my knife hand. Okay. Now, to switch, as we worked on before getting our foot around, we now have to have our hands change as well. So now I'm gonna bring my hand up. So now my right pinky is on my right shoulder, or on my left shoulder. My left hand is, push, is pointing forward, and then I drop back. Again, knife hand, block is in front of our, our or just below our sternum. All right, um, just below the rib cage, so it's right about here, okay? All right, so let's do that again. So we'll start in our left already, so our hands are out, and we're back stance, so our weight is back here, all right? Now as I switch, my foot comes up. As my foot comes up, my right hand joins. All right, I finish my twist, I drop back, and then 
here's my block again. So that is how we do a back stance. Now to do that a few times, back and forth, try to find a place that you can kind of visualize a line in your room and start with your left foot on the line, drop back into your knife hand. All right, now let's continue to move. So we're gonna retreat as we come into this. So we come up, drop back, good, same thing. Bring it up, drop back. All right, sorry, drop back. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. Bring it in, up, drop back. All right, come back forward. Let's try that again. So we're here. We're gonna start into our left in front. All right, now we bring our right up to our left. Bring it down and back, good. Now our left is gonna come up to our right. Drop back. One more time, right comes up to our left, and drop back. Now this time as we go forward, hands on your hips, we're not gonna worry about our hands going forward this time. Bring it in, go out, front stance, forward, front stance, forward, front stance, forward, front stance. Good. Now that is a way you can practice your classic stances at home. You can do four back, four front. If you wanna mix it up with using your hands and not using your hands, that's a good way to do it too. Sometimes in the beginning, it gets a little confusing to use the hands and the legs. So break it down. So what you can do when you break it down, all right, is have it so that you are just doing hands, all right, like that. Or you can have it so that you are just doing the legs. So you have your option when you break it down like that. Okay, so those are our front and back stance. Now we're going to do our explosives. We did have a class where we got through explosive one and we started on explosive two. So let's just quickly review explosive one. All right, so we're gonna start out at Chumbi. First thing we do is bring left foot in, right fist up or left, left fist up on our right shoulder, drop it down, punch, bring it in, drop it down, punch, bring it in, Drop it down, punch. Nice work. Good. Now we're gonna try that again. Remember these are explosives, so when we do these, they should be an explosive motion from the body. So here we go, ready, and begin. Bring it in and down. Hiya. Bring it in and down. Hiya. Bring it in and down. Hiya. Nice work. Let's try that again. All right, Chumbi. Explosive one, go. Bring it in and down. Ah! Bring it in and down. Ah! Bring it in and down. Ah! Good. One more time together, then we'll go on to two. Review two. Ready? And go. Bring it in and down. Ah! 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 Good. Now we're going to do explosive two. Explosive two starts with a high block instead. So we're at Chumbi. All right, now as our left comes in, we're going to bring it in, come up with our high block, punch. After that punch, we're gonna shift our feet. When we shift our feet, we are now in a right front stance because our right foot is leading. And then we're going to punch. All right, then we're going to shift back and punch. Okay, so let's try that again from that side. Chumbi, and begin. Slide up, high block, punch, shift your feet, punch, shift your feet back, punch. Try that again, Chumbi, ready, and go. Left high block, step out front, punch, shift your feet, punch, and back. Now we're gonna go forward. So now it's foot comes back in. As we do that, right hand is gonna be the one that crosses up for the high block. Punch. Now we're going to shift. When we shift, we shift to our left. We punch. We shift back to the front and punch. So let's go that far. Chumbi. Ready, starting with our left side. And go, bring it in. 
high block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Now with our right hand going to the high block. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. All right, let's do it one more time. We'll add the last third part to it. Ready? Left goes first, begin. Bring it in. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Now to our right, high block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Last one, we go forward with our left again. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Okay, let's try doing that a little bit faster, a little bit more explosive. Chumbi, starting with the left. And go. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Forward. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Forward. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Okay. Let's do it at that pace again. Chumbi. Ready. And go. High block punch, shift punch. Shift punch, good. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Again, high block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's do it together one more time. Go a little bit faster if you can. Chumbi, starting it with the left, and begin. Bring it up. Punch, shift punch, shift punch. Bring it up. Punch, shift punch, shift punch. Bring it up. Punch, shift, punch, shift, punch. Nice. All right, you try it at home. Ready, go. Good, good. I hope most of you made it through on that one. If your hands got mixed up, it's okay. They, it will become second nature after a while. Just like anything else, we have to build the muscle memory. So that was explosive two. Now we have explosive three. Explosive three is really just explosive one and two put together. Now sometimes when I say this, people think I mean we're gonna step out and do a low block punch and then go into our high block punch, shift punch, shift punch, and then continue that way. No, we don't make it quite that complicated, okay? It's gonna be three sets of our low blocks and then three sets of the high block punch, shift punch, okay? So we're gonna start out back here. We will go at a slower pace again. Remember, we're going back to our first explosive to start it. Ready, and go. Bring it in, down, punch. Bring it in, down, punch. Bring it in, down, punch. Here we go, bring it up. High block, punch, shift, punch, shift, punch. Bring it in, high block, punch, shift, punch. Shift punch, one more time. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Okay. That's explosive three, putting them together like that. So let's do that one again. Chumbi, ready, and go. Low block punch, low block punch, low block punch. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Good, nice work. We'll do that one again, about the same speed. Okay, so Chumbi, ready, and begin. Low block punch, low block punch, low block punch. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. High block punch, shift punch, shift punch. Nice work. We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna try to do it a little bit faster. Again, if things get mixed up, it's okay. You can always look this back up on our YouTube channel. Remember Karate America Darboy Family Channel. All of our classes get posted there when we're done meeting live in our Facebook group, okay? So here we go, Chumbi. Explosive three, go. Good. 
nice work. I hope you did well. Again, it takes time to get the pattern down and remember how the arms are moving. If you want to break it down and practice just the feet and then practice just the arms, that's a perfectly good way to do this. It does get your blood flowing. It is a good workout. And it really helps, especially once you get into Conquest, because Conquest uses that front stance with the shift. And once you're a black belt, all of our open hand forms become classic forms. So these moves, this footwork, is very important for those as well. To end today's class, I do want to go through student story. And that is also posted on the YouTube channel. So if you don't remember how it exactly goes, or if you don't remember the hand motions, you can look for it there. You will find the words, the student story, on the back of any of our newsletters. Okay, so you can always find it there if you're not sure what the words are. All right, so go to bold stance, hands on our hips. Good job. And begin. I am a karate student. I practice every day. I will always face my fear. I have a plan to find my way. Focus is my tool for learning. Self-discipline is cool. If it is to be, it's up to me. I take responsibility. I take action every day. Listen to the words I say. The path is clear. The goal in sight. Our black belt motto, might for right. Good job. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's end with our promise. Come back to attention. Don't forget, Monday, 11 o'clock, we'll have another class for, just for you. Karate America is might for right. Ma'am. Good job, everybody. Thank you for tuning in.